Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at adding locations to a Mountain Blade Warband module. So we're going to use a wall device and fire as an example for this, mainly because I already have this set up. We're going to assume that you've got the module files downloaded, you have a suitable text editor and you have the Python libraries installed. So first we're going to open the module system folder, we're going to go down to the parties file and we're going to open with in my case is notepad plus plus so we're going to add a castle and we're going to add a village so we're going to look for a castle to copy in this case we're going to go for castle 122 and we want to be adding it to the bottom of this first one is the ID. Uh, so everything has an ID and this is what the parties will use for its ID. So we're going to call this one Castle123. Uh, the second part is the name of the castle. So we're going to call this uh, High Point. This is the icon for the castle. So these are normally in the map icons file. You don't need to worry about any of these. These are the X and Y coordinates where the castle is on the campaign map. And this one here is the rotation of the icon. Next we're going to go down to the villages. So in my module I have to add these in a specific location. Uh, in native, you just add these to the bottom of the other villages. So we're just going to copy and paste that. We're going to call this village high point, and the name is going to be high point village. So if we go back up to the castle. We're going to copy that and find all the places that Castle 122 is located. Uh, we select the right module folder first. So in Scenes, we're just going to copy this one. And we need to make sure we add this in the same place we added it in the parties folder. So we're going to add that one at the bottom. Change these to castle123. So these are all the same as the ID that we used. In my module all locations have um, a faith, uh, so in this case we'll just copy this and that wants to be Old God of the Forest. So in native you won't have this so you don't need to worry about that. We need to bound it to a village so this ensures that our castle will have the high point the village assigned to it. So these don't have to be in order but for consistency we will keep them in the correct place. So that's going to be village high point and castle one two three. Here you will assign a lord to the castle so we're not going to do that this time but is what we do need to do is assign it to a faction. So castle one, two, three is going to be kingdom four in my case because that is for the north. So now we need to go back to our village and we're going to do exactly the same but this time we're going to use village 179 we're going to find all locations
Again, we have a religion for the village in a world of ice and fire. In native, you won't have this. So we call that village high point and old gods of the forest again. We've already bound it to the castle, so we don't need to do that. And this is for the village defenders. So this is just for uh, my module, which is a code I've modified. So we're going to leave that as it is for now. Lastly, we need to add a village elder. And there was one thing we forgot for the castle, and that was this guy here. So castle one, two, three. Right, we're going to save that. And we're going to compile that just to make sure there's no issues. That's now compiled and as you can see there is no problems with the parties we've added. These you can ignore, they're just from my module system which I need to go for and correct. So now we're going to go into our module folder and go to the scene objective and we need to remember what scene code we gave to each location. So if I remember right village high point was village 179 so if we go over here if we look for village 179 we're going to copy that paste it change that to village high point the castle we used was castle one two two. We will just double check that to make sure. Yep, castle one two two. So we'll go back here. Castle one two two. We want all of these. Paste them in and change them. So now we need to add these uh, to the specific place on the campaign map and for that I will use foregrounds. So we're going to put the castle around here somewhere and you can see in the bottom left we have the X and Y coordinates. So they want to be put in here and we'll do the same for the village. So we're going to stick the village around here somewhere. Save that and compile it one last time. As you can see we've got no errors still so now we can load the game up and we can check to make sure our locations are in the correct place and they are working correctly. Here we are in a new game so now we can check to make sure our locations are in the correct position which there is high point and it's part of the northern faction and it's village if we just go and quickly check There we go, the castle is working. Can tour the grounds. Visit the Lord's Hall. 
and just to make sure the village is okay. So there you go. Obviously we need to change the village for a different type, but at least it's all working. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, then make sure you let me know. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done already. And I shall see you in the next one.